most cities do not have an opportunity to add new green space or new land within particularly their old city center. But we'll talk through a quick example of a city that was able to do that and uh, some of the processes they went through. This is the city of Valencia, Spain. It's on the Mediterranean coast. So we can see beaches on the right side of the screen as well as some port facilities. The old town city center is located inland about 10 or 15 minutes. So it's not centered on the beach, but it's certainly very close uh, to that ocean front. Here's now an image with some locations overlaid. And what we're really going to focus on is river features. So traditionally, the town was built along a river that went through the city center. But it was relocated. Uh, at this point, it's been about 40 or 50 years. Uh, now the, the new river, or essentially the, the dugout canal that relocates the river, goes to the south of the city. This is a result of 1957 floods uh, that occurred. And as you can see from these historic images, very destructive on bridges that crossed the river, um, as well as flooding that happened throughout the city and, and severely damaged Valencia. So the question is, what, what's next? What, what should they do? Should they wait for the next flood? Should they redirect the river? A decision was made in 1965 to, or actually the, the construction started in 1965 to divert the river and that water actually started flowing in the diverted route in 1972. The land that was cleared from the flood was used to build uh, new buildings, some new apartments, and this flood really provided the opportunity to change the city. One of the decisions was what, do you, what should be done with the old riverbed? Should it be used for a highway? Uh, perhaps to provide people in Madrid an, the ability to get to the beach faster? Or should it be used for more local recreation purposes? The decision was made to use it for local recreation purposes and for some other buildings in the middle bottom part of the screen you see an image of the city of arts and sciences and in the other images you can see the uh, historic bridges that are now being used uh, to transport people across that riverbed where underneath instead of the water flowing you have people using it for athletic fields for bike and and pedestrian paths and other recreation opportunities well, one of my personally favorite uh, locations in that old riverbed is the, the Gulliver Kids Park. That's a supersized image of Gulliver that you can climb on and, and explore around. So this is, again, an example of a city that was able to add new green space into its center, which is a very uncommon thing that uh, cities are able to experience.